deal. I was at a subway and I was just sitting around waiting to go in and some boys showed up uh, with their John boat and evidently the one guy had parked his car there because uh, I seen him drive off in a gray car and the other guy had the boat and the trailer and, and whatever he was driving I think it was some kind of car and anyhow I think it was a pickup actually anyhow um, the, uh, the one boy he dumped out the minnow bucket and the bunch of dead minnows and four goldfish uh, I think they're carp of some kind but I'm not sure even somebody can prove me wrong on it but uh, um, it was like 10 minutes before they left and I don't know if I was just being shy or I didn't want to get in their face about dumping live fish out but also they're not supposed to take the fish and uh, dump them into lakes and streams and they're not supposed to release them there so you know I guess dumping them out on the ground is about the best you can do you know I think maybe a mud puddle would be a hair better you know let the fish die in some water but anyway when I got over there uh, three of the fish were still alive and the one goldfish or whatever it is was dead and I put them in a I had a cup of water uh, like this one right here and I put them in that water cup and I thought you know they're they're sitting there going to town on some uh, chunks of grass or something uh, that was on their skin when I picked them up and threw them and put them in the, I didn't throw them in I put them in the water anyway um, so I uh, uh, thought well maybe they need some food and I know you're not supposed to feed them bread probably but I mean everybody does um, so I gave them a little piece of my uh, subway sub bread and when I uh, got to uh, Walgreens and uh, bought this gallon jug of water here and by, by, by I don't know if it's luck or what or is this prolonging it they had a thing of fish food uh, let me grab it uh, for goldfish right there uh, goldfish word wordly anyhow uh, optimum health and vibrancy well when I got out to the truck, uh, one of the fish was dead, and or when I put him in the uh, went to put him in the gallon thing of water, one of them was dead, and I didn't realize it, and I dropped it down in the water. So then I had to take another gallon jug I had and switch it over. Um, but uh, you know, being out of the water for 10 minutes, and that's your environment, and you're still alive. The one he's got lots and lots of life in him the other one not as much but uh, you know if I was out of water for 10 minutes I would be you know not too keen on uh, doing anything I think the one is mainly looking for a way to get out to get back to wherever they came from but Jeremiah had his uh, little fish uh, Nemo that he got at the fair and it died it, it was never very light uh, didn't have didn't even have the life that this one here that, that's barely moving around has it didn't even have that much life and anyhow so hopefully prayerfully I will, why hope when you can pray um, prayerfully uh, they'll be okay uh, get him home to Jeremiah and he can have some goldfish he's got the cages um, although I think the scout jug is bigger than his his cages but uh, we'll just have to see anyhow so that's my story I'm sticking to it and that's it